Hello and welcome to another edition on League Focus, a segment which focuses its attention to Nigerian League. I am Francisca Mwobudu. We start off from the Nigerian Women's League, a part of their efforts to end the 2016-17 Nigerian Women Premier League season on a high position. Confluence Queens have promised that total victory over their guest Pelican Stars of Calabar on Wednesday. The two teams will slug it out at the Confluence Stadium Lokoja in one of the Group B fixtures to draw the curtain of an exciting Women's League season in the country. And according to the chairman of the club, Abdul Sule, he said that the Queens have been charged to complete the double over Pelican Stars. Who the defeated one goes to new, courtesy of Ifoma Polino's 88 minute strike in the first leg in Calabar. Sule further mentioned that, however, he called on the teaming fans of the club as well as supporters and followers of Nigerian Women's League to come around and cheer the new direction Queens to victory on Wednesday and also by identifying with them the club's jersey of blue or yellow. Also, the Super Eagles utility player added that senior special assistant to Governor Yahaya Belu on women and children development, Honorable Sandra Musa, will also be a special guest of honor in the match, as well as other top government functionaries. Let's tell you that Confluence Queens are fifth on the Group B log of the APS Women's League in the country after gathering 17 points, while a victory tomorrow could see them end up third on the log. Away from that, we also tell you that here in Lagos, FC Robo head coach Emmanuel Osanhon has promised the very best performance from his words against top flight newcomers Heartland Queens as the Colton falls on the first tier leg. The Lagos Land Ladies are host of the Owero side in Wednesday's Nigerian Women Premier League match day 14 clutch at the Legacy Pitch National Stadium here in Sirulere, Lagos. The Lagos outfit shared the spoils against the Nigerian Women Professional League bottom place side in the first fixture clash at the Federal Polytechnic Ground in Nekede, Oweri. Osaha further mentioned that his hope to win convincingly against the visitors, Heartland Queens, is to push further a re respectable finishing on the final. He also mentioned and awarded his side 60% performance in the ongoing top flight while promising a far better campaign in the upcoming season. Meanwhile, FC Robos are seized on the seven team Nigerian Professional Football League. Nigerian Women Professional Football League Group A log on 12 points, 11 points behind Biosa Queens. Other games will see the likes of Ebom Angels entertain Biosa Queens. Abia Angels as well will play host against Sunshine Queens, while in Group B, Nasara Amazons as well will welcome Adamawa Amazons. Oshu Babes visit Delta Queens, while Edo Queens welcome Sadatu Amazons. Now to the Nigerian Professional Football League stories. Let's tell you that Nigerian Junior International, who is currently on the books of Nasara United, talking about Thomas Zenke, he spoke about the solid minus chances of making a continental slot come to the end of the season. Speaking immediately at the match day 32 game between Nasara United and Niger Tornadoes in Lafia. Well, the attacking midfielder Winger at well stated that despite the missed chances against the Eco Ala boys, the most important thing for them was gaining the three points which was at stake. He said they played very well and were unable to bury their chances, but still they have to thank God for the maximum points which they squeezed against Nassau United chances of winning the league. He said, we all know that the league shield is out of our reach, but we have reserved amongst ourselves the players, talking about the players this time around, to fight for every available point, both at home and away, starting from the game against FC Ifanyoba in Newi. He also said that he elaborated more on the next game. Personally, I would love to take part in the game, talking about um, Zenke this time around. He said, I believe and trust my team to do the magic by taking the Anambra landlords to the cleaners on Sunday, while stating that the worst 
would be a stalemate without coming to play time would fail let's also tell you that the chan invitee believes that the chan eagles are also in good shape ahead of the crucial double header against the squares of benin in cotonou this august Thomas Zenka has been one of the most outstanding players in the Nigerian Professional Football League this season, displaying some eye-catching performances week in, week out, and also contributing a total of nine assists and two goals in coach Kabia Dogo led Nasara United quest to clinch a continental slot come the end of the season. Aqua United goalkeeper Oloru Leke Ojo is keeping his hopes at the premium despite enjoying an impressive campaign with his club in the Nigerian Professional Football League. The promise keeper are in the hunt for the Nigerian Professional Football League title and also a top three finish should the title race slip out of their hand. And Olorun Leko has called for focus, hard work and discipline in the run in of the campaign. The Aqua United stopper is also in the running for the gloves this season with 12 clean sheets, one behind Nasara United's Suraj Aleyeso. However, he prefers to keep things modest since nothing has been won or lost. The former Gewa FC and Sunshine Stars man is not keen on setting himself a target for the remaining of the campaign, but he wants to help his club finish as high as possible in the ranking. Olorun Leko also believes that Aqua United needs a perfect attitude to stay within touching distance of the league leaders and hope to play their way into serious contentions with six rounds of matches to end the season. Aqua United play on the road on Sunday against Sunshine Stars. Against the backdrop of the recent outburst by the president of the Nigerian Football Coaches Association and head coach of Air Kaname Warriors, talking about Ladan Boso, he openly blamed the club owners for the win of home syndrome in the Nigerian Professional Football League. The club owners association have fired back at the former under-23 coach, saying that he should face technical matters as well as should have only demonstrated his low knowledge of the principle and protocols of football management and administration. Coach Boso had in a recent interview accused the club owners of paying referees and intimidating them, thus also influencing the win at the home syndrome. Club owners in a statement jointly signed by the chairman, Barrister Isaac Danladi, and the executive secretary, Aloy Chukuma, exonerated members of the association from the unwarranted and false allegation, stressing that the blame should rather go to the entire system and all the stakeholders. The association also said that none of its members had been arrested prosecuted or even investigated for inducing matches officials to unduly influence matters resort. Hence, it's wondered where coach Boso relied on before making such baseless allegations. The association also called on the NFF integrity section and other relevant agencies to immediately invites the coach talking about Ladan Boso to prove this allegation as it is capable of bringing the entire football to disrepute. We are pained and concerned that such weighty allegation coming from the coach um, considering his position as one of the top-notch coaches in the league as well as the president of the coaches association. We so deemed an apology or he should be invited to prove the allegations. In other words, club owners compromise of respected members in their various callings who are appointed on their merits to administer their respective clubs. Notably senior lawyers, seasoned journalists, former lawmakers, ex-commissioners and seasoned administrators. They believe that whatever challenges being faced in the league should be blamed on the entire system, which compromise of all the relevant stakeholders and solutions to solve such problem should be a collective responsibility. At this point, we take a short break. When we return, we turn our attention on some of the league statistics and also winner of the VAT Wonder Goal Award. Do join us again. Welcome back. Gombe United forward Sani Abani has emerged 
the winner of the Nigerian Professional Football League, Vats won the goal nine for March day 29. This was after he edged out his closest rivals, Joseph Abiodun, who was second and plays for Sunshine Stars with Abu Aziz of Shooting Stars coming a distant third. Interestingly, as is also known as San Eagles players, was the runaway winner for fan who voted on the Twitter handle platform, gathering a total number of 53 votes, but fell far behind on the website's polls where it picked up just 50 out of 1,008 votes in total. On the other hand, is a building coming second in this one and all the poll, but could not secure sufficient numbers to upstage Abani on the Twitter platform. Abani and Abiodo nearly shared the same votes on the website, but it was Gombe player that carried the day with a total of 524, bringing his combined votes on the website and Twitter to 585. However, Abiodo had 434 votes from the web website's polls and another impressive 85 votes of the 305 for the Twitter. Abani thus becomes the Vats Wonder Go Award winner with his goal scored against Northeast neighbors El Kanemi Warriors in March Day 28, which ended 2 0 in favor of his club, Gumbi. With this award, Abani will now receive a cash of 150000 and he is expected to nominate a charity home in the state for the donation of, of the prize which is the whole essence of the award. The VATS Goal Award is a platform to promote tax education campaign through social investment of LMC, and it's proudly supported by the Federal Inland Revenue Services. Finally, to some statistics in the Nigerian League, Sunshine Stars of Akure are only the club who have won two successive away games this season but did not win any of the previous 22 away games. Let's also let you know that Rivers United are the only club that has lost their home game for the first time in the Nigerian Professional Football League history, ending a run of 31 matches, and that was broken by Sunshine Stars. Also, MFM duo Sikiru Olatsubosu and Steven Ode have provided a combined total of 10 assists for each other in the league the best by any other duo also um, goalkeeper of Ifan Yoba talking about Ike Chuku Ezenwa has considered just 13 goals this season he keeps clean sheets and has saved two penalties in his 14th appearances coming in his, as a substitute well that's the much we can take for today's edition of League Focus thanks for being part of it I am Francisca Mwobudu